Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. So today, I extracted some honey. It wasn't fun. It, I just, it was not fun. I've got the extractor to do it with. And no, that weren't the issue. It just, I don't know. I had to search for buckets. I went to Lowe's the other day and bought me two buckets. And uh, for, of course they're food grade buckets and being that the hurricane all come through, I couldn't find lids for them and all that good stuff. So I don't know, it's just, it's been aggravating today. Uh, I extracted probably maybe 12 deep hive body frames and uh, 10 of the regular, what they call honey supers. And I ended up with six gallons of honey Right here you can see, I use those for uh, a little extra stuff, but uh, my other buckets I got, they're, uh, they're almost clear, but they're food grade buckets. They're pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I didn't have any lids for them or anything like that, but uh, I keep telling myself every year that I'm going to get my stuff together and it's going to be easier every year, and, but this year it's just been a pain. Uh, with everything that's been going on, I just, uh, everything's just scattered all over the place. I will tell you, I got a double, double strainer ordeal and I need to get, find it on Amazon. And I'll link it below. I freaking love that thing. That was one of the best things I've ever used. And I picked it up on a whim because I needed to order a smoker and to get some free shipping, I just throw that in the pile and it's been in a box in my building for, I don't know, two, three years. And I finally decided to break it out, and I freaking love that thing. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description below for it. Uh, it's like a double strainer. It's small enough it'll fit in a three, probably three, three and a half gallon bucket. And uh, it's got the expandable arms on it. So you can put it into a five gallon bucket or even anything bigger than that if you want to. But uh, I extracted those, uh, those uh, frames and I took them and set them out here. My mother's pulling in the gate. Uh, I extracted the frames and I pulled, once I did that, if you can see right there, I put them way over there against the fence for the bees to finish cleaning them up. That's the only place in the yard that I don't have any hives. So uh, that's the reason why I put them over there. If you extract like that, don't put your frames and stuff in there any hives because it could induce uh, robbing. And uh, you don't want that. Uh, a lot of people think that your little flights in the afternoon is robbing, but if you've never seen a hive get robbed out, it is freaking violent as crap. It's not anything you really want to uh, see. I mean, there's bees fighting and carnage and all that other good stuff. So uh, even if you crush and strain, if you put your cappings out that, that, that for the bees to uh, uh, clean up, don't put it near a hive because they will start robbing. Same way with your feet. And I know in some countries it's against a lot of uh, open feed. I think Australia you can't open feed, but here in the United States, I mean, they don't care. That's when I feed sugar water, that's what I do. I put a big feeder out and I, uh, I uh, open feed. So I told uh, Hope while I go, I said, I keep telling myself that it's going to get better every year and uh, she said well we've had a whole lot going on and that's the truth so I'm really going to, I know if you look back I'll put it, the video in the uh, kind of toward the end so you can click on the video but we got some old hog houses that I need to get off my butt and uh, clean up uh, and put my bee stuff over there. It'd be a whole lot easier to take care of and all that good stuff to get them away from the house and uh, next year I'm gonna try to fix my little place where it's just for extracting and all that other good stuff uh, you have to excuse the mess but I got a something built right over here I'll take it over there and show it to you it's a thing to clean deer but I think I'm gonna build me a shelter off of it I might end up framing it up pour us a little bit of concrete and making a building out of it or like a little shelter and if the mood strikes me, I might uh, 
that's what it looks like. I might end up turning it into a deer cleaning slash uh, honey extracting type thing. So uh, I don't know, we'll see. The big thing about doing honey extraction is you really need somewhere to do it and you need somewhere that's cool. Where I did it today was in our little uh, garage type thing and it was freaking hot in there. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons why it was it enjoyable. So, but that's what was going on today. Like I said, I got six gallons of honey. It's decent honey. It ain't the best honey I've ever produced, but now I need to order me a bucket with some honey gates and stuff on it. That way I could uh, put it in some jars and uh, put my labels and all that good stuff on it. So just want to tell you what was going on with that. Uh, hope y'all doing good. I uh, hope y'all have a good weekend. I think today is Thursday. I think today's Thursday. I think we're going to stay around here. Hope's birthday is this weekend. And we might end up going to Ted's Montana Grill in Durham and get her a buffalo steak or a buffalo burger. We did that last year for her birthday. We might end up doing it again this year. If you ain't never eat any buffalo meat, it's pretty good. So uh, that's an update on what's going on. Hope y'all doing good. Uh, if you got any uh, extracting equipment that you really like, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you got. Uh, like I said, I'll put this, the link to that strainer in the comments too or in the description below. And because uh, I really do like it. I won't put, I won't push or tell y'all about anything that I don't really like. And that's one of the things I do. So there you go. Hope y'all having a uh, good week. Hope y'all have a good weekend. Y'all be safe. We'll see you on the next one.